landed in Napoli. Very short flight. And our Airbnb host is going to be right outside waiting for us to drive us through the is city. Airbnb? And give us a little short, she promised a little short tour. Hello. I love this city. I'm born in this city and I love uh, And what is your favorite? I don't change the city with the uh, with this city. <laughs> Naples um, in the history before. Mm -hmm. The made the uh, first Naples and after nation Italy. So, is the mafia a big yeah, presence yes, here? Yes, 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 because uh, mafia in Italy is the story. Yeah. Story, story. <laughs> She's a That's saint amazing. here. <laughs> now we'll go grab some pizza. I'm so excited to try Neapolitan pizza here in Napoli because Olivia has said the best things. She says it beats the, pe the pizzas in Rome, so... <laughs> store right across from the pizzeria. 260 for this. It's pretty big. Um, but we don't have and I'm not cool enough to open it with a lighter. And plus I don't have a lighter. So I don't, I don't like no that's not gonna work. Careful. Yeah. I'll range out of time. Hmm. Yeah, that's crazy so Oh, it's going to be historic. Yeah. Let's see if this one's mine. That's oh, mine. that's the Merita. Classic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, looks so good. And it's supposed to be the best pizza ever. And wow. the best part about this is that five euros for that. And that's considered a bit expensive. Mm -hmm. And in like London, New York, LA, any big city, if you want a, like a big pizza Napolitana, you'll be paying like what, $18. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers. So you can get oh. like a street food pizza here called Pizza Portafoglio, which means like wallet. So they pretty much do a piece and they fold it up. So you eat it while you're walking. It's really good, but it got cold fast. I know, I was gonna say. We need to eat it hot and fresh for the cheese is so melty. Mm -hmm. Delicioso. So the dough is just beautiful. It's like an art. And all the different pizzerias here kind of have their own like magic combination of water, flour, yeast, rice time. And mm. it's just the perfect chew, isn't it? Good morning. So Maria is editing right now and I'm going to go meet Claire, remember our friend from our other videos at the train station in Naples and we're so excited to see her. Let's go. So when we first arrived, it was really cold. This morning it was cold and rainy, but the sun's trying to come out and it feels a lot warmer. I'm ready for the day. I can't wait. One of my favorite things that ever since living in Italy that I just love about this country and it's so special. It's a feeling, but it's also all the smells. Here especially, it's like the sounds of the scooters, the bikes, the people talking, and also the smell of like the coffee, the pastries, the pizza even smoking, strong colognes. <laughs> Check out this view. Vesuvius, literally behind the train station under the clouds. Hi, Claire Bear. Do you need a taxi? Do you need a ride? <laughs> Oh, 
of a trap. I can't I am so hungry and this is one of the best cities to be hungry in because the food is just amazing. There are so many little alleyways everywhere here in Naples. But not like really alleys like you're used in the US. They can, can go through a square, but there's like little tiny streets everywhere. Um, and it really, because it, they're not very well kept, as you would expect maybe like in Rome, it's, it gives you a feel like you're far back in time, unless you look and you see the cars around you. And We're gonna be starting with some um, street food here in Naples. Uh, we hear it's amazing. And what did you get? It's called una paragina. Olivia's gonna try it first. It looks really good. I never heard of it, and I saw it in the window, and Claire's like, "This is what I'm getting." I'm like, "Great." So it I seems like it. there's a dough on top, and like in between. So like, it seems like a sandwich pizza. Yeah. With yeah. prosciutto, cheese, tomato sauce, and instead of like a pizza dough, it's more like a pastry, right? I love food so much. <laughs> it's exactly what I was hoping it would be, exactly what you would think. The dough is really nice. I mean, I, the t any tomato sauce here is just beautiful. I don't, that's all. It's amazing. I can't wait to eat more food. <laughs> So we came to a very local spot and we're continuing on with our street food tour. And this is fried pasta and I'm so excited because pasta is my favorite thing in the world. Ooh. There's a hint of tomato sauce with some peas and maybe ham or prosciutto in there. It's really good. I can imagine if it was fresh straight out of the oven, it would be so good. And then, this just came out, this pizza. And they're known for their sauce, the red sauce here. If you love bread and tomato sauce, this is for you. My God. I love tomato sauce. One of the best things about Italy is aperitivo and an aperol spritz with some little snackies. And we are also going to be trying a carnival treat called frappe with a few different variations. So it's a wonderful time to be in Italy. So, for the, the original. Originale. Very good. It's more like Short. a biscuit. Yeah. Just a bit like a biscuit. But in this country, like a thin biscuit. All right, we finished with our aperitivo and now we're heading for our second aperitivo because why not? And that should open up our appetite to go have a four course meal only for 13 three euro four, each. I, I think it's three, maybe four. I think you said. Still, very good deal. Yes. Something quite common here in Italy is the basket down the balcony instead of coming all the way down to the door to accept your delivery or whatever that may be. You just throw that basket and then pull it right back up. Such a convenient way to just not move from your apartment. I love it. So the place that we've come to is like a three-course set, kind of set menu, so you have choices. So it's 13 euros for a main, a second, and a side dish with water. And I ordered the pasta with provolone cheese, potatoes, and bacon, and tomatoes. And I guess this is like the best thing to eat here. And it just looks fantastic. 
fun. It's really good, but it's really hard. All right, and I got the ragu, but the further south you go in Italy, it's more like a steak instead of like the bolognese ragu that we're used to. I believe this is probably pork. It's really good, really, really tasty. Wow. The meat is such a good flavor. Perfectly cooked. And the sauce. Claire, how do you like yours, Claire? <laughs> Claire's back. <laughs> and the wine's really nice, the house wine. It has a good little sparkle to it. We have probably about five choices for each. We chose the chicken cutlet, fried cod, eggplant parmesan, and the french fries. Very good. Nice, hot, and fried. You can tell they don't just like fry them like and they keep them ready. It's freshly fried, probably freshly battered, I think, too. Squeeze a lemon. All right, and I got the fried cod, although I'm already so full. It's really good. It's really good. Eggplant parmesan, that's a side dish. It looks really good. It's just like layers upon layers of eggplant with cheese and sauce. So good. Oh.